Hi, I'm Melissa Higgins. I'm an occupational therapist and I've been here for five years. Hi, I'm Lindsay Murphy, the life skills teacher, and I've been here for five years as well. Hi, my name is Christopher Lynch. I'm the principal of the high school, and I'm pleased to welcome you to the Edward and Barbara Becker Adapted Life Skills Kitchen. Our adapted kitchen is set up with everything that you would find in a typical apartment. Everything that you would need in a regular kitchen is found here. So this will give our students the opportunity to participate in all the things that they may need to do after graduation. Our re renovations were completed uh, with two thoughts in mind. The first was that we were able to show our students ways to compensate and how to work in a typical kitchen. Um, and then the second one was to provide them with all of the adaptations possible so that our kids can, uh, can participate to the fullest extent. Uh, many of our students are in wheelchairs, so we have provided them with opportunities to be able to access different parts of the kitchen, even though they're in a wheelchair. Um, back in 2005, when our building was built, um, the kitchen that we had was geared towards our population at that time. And since then, our population has changed, so so have we. So we've had a lot of different things that, you know, over the years we've noticed that some things could be modified. Oh, this may be better, you know, down below or something up higher. So. We did a lot of research on looking around at um, a lot of different kitchens. And one of the things that we did find that we actually really liked was a it, it looks like your basic cabinet, but in reality, when you pull it out, it could either be a workstation here, or it could be some type of workstation up here. So again, it, we kept in mind the fact that we do have students who are in wheelchairs and who are not, so it kind of serves two purposes. When we renovated our kitchen, we installed two different types of sinks, keeping in mind our different populations that we serve and allow as many students uh, to access the kitchen as possible. This one, we installed a more typical sink that you would find in a standard kitchen. Um, it does still have a cutout so the wheelchairs can roll up to it, but it provides them with a more standard, uh, typical kitchen situation. This sink provides a more adapted sink so if you notice, the faucet is much closer. It puts it on the side rather than the back. Um, and it also has a single lever just to allow students easier access for those with limited mobility. Uh, when we installed our sinks, we made them slightly lower. And we also made it so that there were, it was open underneath. We removed the lower cabinets to allow easier access for the wheelchairs to be able to pull right up to the sink and be able to get nice and close. Our kitchen is that we've also installed cutting boards right into the drawers so that they can pull right out. This is a great addition for our kitchen because it allows students in wheelchairs to be able to pull up so that they have space for their legs underneath. And then we also have it in two different heights to accommodate the different needs of students. The rest of our kitchen, we really wanted to take into account both themes to really accommodate both uh, the disabilities of our students and then also to teach them compensation to work inside a typical kitchen. So we've installed two microwaves. The top one is at a similar height that would be found in most homes. And then we've also installed one at a lower height that would be wheelchair accessible. We've also installed a unique dishwasher. It comes with two drawers. Um, and unlike a standard dishwasher that has a swinging door that opens forward, these two drawers pull outward. The lower draw uh, would be at a similar height to where a regular dishwasher is. And then the top draw allows for a wheelchair to be able to pull up right next to it and it won't be as deep so that they can reach in and to remove the dishes. And this is our classroom area. This is where we do our instructional time. Um, we do a lot of interactive smart board activities. Um, each of our classrooms in uh, the high school have one of these boards. Thank you to Edward and Barbara Becker for making the dreams of our staff and students a reality. 